Hey guys, sorry it took me so long to upload this potato recipe video for you guys, but I'm actually in Costa Rica right now and I totally forgot to do the intro to this video, so here we are. <laughs> These are three super easy potato recipes that will take you less than 10 minutes to prepare. What I've been doing recently that I really, really love is every couple days I will steam up five pounds of potatoes in my Instant Pot. And how I do that is I basically just put a steamer tray in the bottom, put a little bit of water, dump a whole bag of potatoes in there, put it on manual sealed for 20 minutes. And then when they're done, I just put them in the fridge and I have them ready to go whenever I wanna have a potato meal. Makes life so much easier because they're already cooked and all I have to do is reheat them. In today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys three of my favorite potato meals that I've been eating lately and have been obsessed with. As always, I will put all of the recipes and ingredients and everything in the description box for you guys. And I'm also just gonna show you quickly how to steam potatoes in a pot if you don't know. Let's get into it. To steam potatoes on a stove top, you're just gonna want a steamer tray like this. Put it into a pan and then add a little bit of water. Then just add your potatoes on top, cover it, bring it to a boil and let them cook for about 20 minutes. When they're done, they should be soft enough that you can prick them all the way through with a fork like this. Then I just put them in my fridge in a big bowl, cover them and they're ready to use whenever I wanna eat potatoes. For the first recipe, we're going to be making fiesta potatoes. This recipe is delicious. You have to try it. You're just going to want to take four of your cold potatoes and cut them into small chunks like this. Then you can just add them into a big bowl. This recipe actually does serve two, so as always, I will put the full recipe written out in the description box for you guys, but if you want it for one person, just cut it in half. So we're gonna take our four potatoes that we chopped up, some kale, one cup of tomato sauce from a can, which is just diced tomatoes, one cup of black beans and corn, one fourth cup of chopped red onion, some chopped jalapenos and spices. All we're gonna do is add all of this into our skillet, we're not gonna add any water or anything like that because the vegetables have a lot of water in them, so we're basically just gonna let that cook down. We've got some chili powder, garlic powder, cumin, and a little bit of salt to sprinkle on top for flavoring, and then the tomato sauce is what is going to bring it all together. We're just going to mix all of that together, and then with our stovetop over medium heat, put the lid on and let this cook for 10 minutes. Once that time is up, put it onto a plate, I like to sometimes put a little bit of nutritional yeast on top or some lime juice and this is a super easy, quick and delicious breakfast. This garlic mashed potatoes and kale saute is my favorite recipe. I've been so addicted lately and it's really easy to make. We're just going to need two cups of chopped kale, a cup of mushrooms that you've sliced up and then half an onion chopped. Add everything into your pan once again. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon balsamic vinegar, a tiny bit of maple syrup, some garlic powder, and stir that together again just to mix it up really well. Put our lid on. We're just going to keep the lid on for a couple minutes until the kale has wilted down a little bit. And then we're just going to let this to continue to cook over medium heat until all of the moisture has absorbed out of the vegetables. It's going to get this really delicious, sweet and salty caramelization on it. It's amazing. So next we're just going to add two to three potatoes that we've chopped up and a little bit of water into our hot pan. Add some garlic powder, a pinch of salt, bring it back up to a boil and let it cook for five more minutes. And since our potatoes are already cooked, we don't have to let this cook for 30 minutes or anything. What we're gonna do now after five minutes is just mash it up into a really creamy mashed potatoes and put this on the side. I love eating this together. It's so good with the vegetables and the potatoes and it's like salty and sweet and crunchy and just everything. So I just love adding a little bit of sauerkraut to the top to make it look pretty, give it some more crunch and a little bit of black pepper, and try this one. I'm telling you guys. So the next recipe is something that people have been telling me to do for literally four years, and I've always just been way too lazy to do it. But if you want to know how to cook perfect potato fries every single time, this is the real deal here. You're just going to want to take three or four potatoes and chop them into fry shapes, and then we're just going to sprinkle whatever seasoning we want on it. I was making in this video some little 
marinara pizza tacos. So I just put Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, and a pinch of salt on top. So this recipe is perfect for anybody who needs fast food because this recipe is quick. Since these potatoes are pre-cooked, all we're gonna do is put our oven on broil, put them on a pan, and then put them on the top shelf of the oven for five minutes flip them over, let them cook another five minutes, and they're gonna get perfectly crispy. So while they do that, I'm just going to put together the rest of my bowl, and I had some of this Engine 2 marinara sauce left over, so I'm just gonna put this into a tiny little bowl, add some romaine leaves on the side. If you guys have never put potatoes inside of a romaine leaf, it's amazing. Then once our potatoes are done, we're just going to put them around the corners. These potatoes, to me, they taste like frozen, fries that you buy at the grocery store and then you cook in the oven because they're perfectly cooked all the way through. When I used to make potatoes just in the air fryer totally raw, it would be like half of them would be perfectly cooked and then the other half would be where the middle of it was still hard and it was just really frustrating and that doesn't happen with this method. Try it out. Let me know how you guys like it in the comments box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.